soldier who apparently inspired Crocodile Dundee, so that's the inspiration being taken by Morris Bradis and his team here. We'll now move along to the trainers. Mark Wilson is the trainer of Jai of the Tire, challenging for the world title on Saturday night, Mark. How have you got Jai ready for such an intimidating prospect as facing this man? Uh, well, Jai, I've never seen Jai train so hard in the last six months we've been together. He's, uh, he's had a few adversities, a few setbacks, but he's never ever thought anything about that. He's just got through whatever we had to do. His sparring's been good, and as the camp went on, he got stronger and stronger. Um, he's more focused, he's, his mindset, his self-belief is, is incredible. I've known Joy for a long time now. We go back a long way as far as in the boxing game. I took him to the 2010 Junior World Championships when he became world champion there. And I knew way back then that this kid had something special. And when I was asked to come on board in January, uh, I jumped at it, basically. It was a great opportunity for this fella. I, there's not a lot of changes. I just tried to tie him up in a few areas, do a few things. Uh, his dad has done a tremendous job with him up to now. Uh, and come Saturday night, you will see a very, very good fight. Any chinks in the armour, do you think, of Raiders? We've seen him for so many years be so very, very dominant, but at 37 years of age, is there any chance, do you think he's slowed down? Well, 37, you're not getting any younger in the boxing game, but the bigger guys seem to go a bit longer. He's been a marvellous champion. Uh, they're like Ali Ross Bulsic, now, and they're all six heavyweight champion of the world. Uh, and that was the majority decision loss. He's, he's got all, everything. Uh, we've noticed a few little things uh, that we hope we can exploit on Saturday night. Um, but yeah, hopefully youth will outdo the age, I believe. Thank you so much. That is Mark Wilson, the trainer at John Up at Tire. We move to Morris Bradis as trainer now. Dimitri Shikolay, and a pleasure to have you here with us in the country as well, Dimitri. I uh, just wanted to get your response as to uh, how your man, Bradis, is travelling at the age of 37. So just, uh, our coach speaks Russian, so I'm going to translate Thank you. for him and to him. Uh, can you repeat the question? Uh, just uh, in regards to Raiders being 37, how is he travelling at this age? Uh, well, next, uh, you should have told us the general opinion, but I think it's a very interesting question. Thank you, Australia. It's a very nice city, good people. По поводу вопроса, вы знаете, Марис, э, я работаю уже пятый год с Марисом, и я каждую, каждую подготовку я не могу понять, насколько, насколько он гибок и насколько он хорош. Он э, с каждым годом становится все опытнее, сильнее, и его возраст ему не мешает. Есть люди, которые стареют, и им становится хуже от того, что происходит, но Марис, он такой человек, Он впитывает себя как губку и подстраивается под любой стиль боя. Вот я тренер сейчас сказал, что они э, видели бой с Усиком. Я тоже очень много раз смотрел бой с Усиком. И у Мариса есть большой опыт э, боксирования э, с лишами правосторонней стойки. И я не знаю, какой бой тренера и оппоненты будут смотреть, но Марис каждый раз он другой. Если ребята будут смотреть только на бой с Усиком, то, то это будет большая промашка, потому что Марис он очень гибок, он может и вперед работать, он может и назад работать, он может и встретить хорошо, он отличный панчер. Поэтому будем, будем внимательны, как мы, как и оппоненты, и победить сильнейших. Maybe just a summary of that would be good. <laughs> just you then, you're going to go good. Yeah. <laughs> You've got one out of a memory. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, he's wishing Jai a happy birthday. Uh, he's uh, thanking uh, for uh, for the team to uh, welcoming us here. Uh, he said uh, he's obviously reflecting to what uh, uh, Jai's coach said. and. Uh, uh, Coach has been uh, watching Mars fights, uh, previous fights. He has worked with Mars for five years. He's watched all of the previous fights. And uh, first of all, he, he including the fight with Ilsik, which is a southpaw uh, case of Jai. So Mars has an extensive experience with southpaw. But the thing is, uh, what you can see in Mars fights, uh, what he was reflecting to is that in every single fight, he's different. So it's probably a very tough task for the opponent team to really understand how, how Mars is going to be boxing. because. Every single time he's doing something different. He's very deep in his skills, so he can uh, get out of his pocket anything uh, 
at any time and uh, it can be very different from fight to fight. So uh, at, at the age of 37, uh, he's, uh, he's still getting better with every fight. Uh, it's obviously not about the, the fighting game, it's about preparing and if you can prepare at the age of 37 uh, at the same level, I mean, uh, putting up the same load, then it doesn't matter whether you're 37 or you're 47. It's, uh, that, that's where the, the trick is, whether you can uh, go through the training camp and uh, Marius is, uh, uh, is as good as, uh, in, in that sense, uh, even better than he has been uh, previously uh, since coach started working with him five years ago, so he's very confident uh, about the outcome of the Saturday's fight. Fantastic. Thank you for translating Raymond's and thank you to Dimitri. I won't risk a second question there, but we'll move along to our main event fighters now. It is the IBF Cruiserweight World Champion, Morris Bradis, and also the world title challenger, the undefeated Jai of the Tire from Australia. I'll start with Jai. Firstly, happy birthday. Happy 27th birthday for today, Jai. Um, how does it feel to be just a couple of days away from something you've been dreaming about for so very long? Very excited, man. You know, I've waited a long time for this opportunity, and man, I can't wait. I feel ready. You know, I know he's a great fighter, but you know, I feel I'm the new generation of great coming through. You know, all, all he's done, that's all in the past now. It's my time now. And what makes you so firm in that belief? I interviewed you last week, and I've never seen you so forthright in your opinion and your confidence. What has got you to this point? I've done everything right. You know, I've I've, I've done my apprenticeship, and you know. <laughs> July 2nd, I come certified. You know, I, I, I've done all the hard work. Everything's done and I'm ready to walk in there. Tell me about the desire that you see in your opponent and the desire that you think you have to win this fight. Um, man, I, I know this is a big step up from my you know, past competition, but you know, my last fight, I blew him out the water. You know what I mean? It was, it was, I shone every time I was in the ring that I was levels above. I was on that world stage level and um, I'm just excited to get in there and uh, you know show everyone. They could have dodged this fight. They could have gone another route, and certainly they didn't have to come to Australia. Do you think you're being underestimated in this fight? Uh, I definitely think I'm being underestimated in a way, but I, I know he's training hard. He's ready. You know he's uh, he's been up the top for a long time, and his coach is smart. They know not to underestimate me. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm coming for that belt, but um, yeah, we're ready. You know we've done the hard work. I'm ready for this fight. I'm ready to become a world champion. What have you seen in Bradis in recent fights or in the demeanour he has here today that makes you confident that he's not ready for you? Um, man, I know this is going to be a tough fight, you know what I mean? I'm not expecting to go in there and just box his ears off. I'm, I'm ready for those deep waters. I'm ready to dig deep, you know what I mean? I'm ready to earn this belt. I'm not going in there thinking this is going to be an easy, you know, clinic put on. I know this is going to be a war and I'm ready for it. Let's get it done. Yeah, what kind of fight? are you expecting? Uh, we've seen him in all styles of fights. You never quite know what you're going to get in a Morris Bradis fight. We've seen you a slick southpaw boxer. What should we expect on Saturday night? Uh, well, it's the same as me, you know. I, I, I'm progressing as well. I've, uh, you know, all the fights that he would have been watching and learning, I'm fighting completely different. I'm learning, I'm getting stronger, you know, getting fitter. I'm, we're just progressing into better fighters and, you know what I mean? I, We'll see what happens. I'm curious to see how aggressive he comes out, you know what I mean? Because I've got power, you know what I mean? I, I box smart, but people underestimate my power. But when he's in there, you know what I mean? He's got a second guess. Just take yourself forward a couple of days. How do you think you're going to feel if you hear the words, and you? That's all that matters right now, man. Not, none of this birthday stuff, nothing. All that matters is hearing those words. Prediction for the fight, John? Tough war, man. A tough war. Let's get it done. That is Jai Pattaya, the world title challenger this Saturday night here on the Gold Coast. And he takes on the IBF Cruiserweight Champion of the World, the best cruiserweight in the world at the moment. It is Myris Greatest. An absolute pleasure to have someone of his standing here in Australia for a fight like this. Myris, welcome to Australia. Great to have you here. How have you enjoyed your time here so far? Oh, Gold Coast, um, Gold Coast uh, beat us very warm, and I like this. Uh, when I sit here and listening to uh, Dean and Kale, and love because uh, uh, like two, two big mans and speak like two small boys. No, my car is best. No, 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 my car is best. No, it's, it's, no I feel that so, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, 
It's very, very funny. But... Whose car is this, though, Morris? Uh, there's Jai Vataira over there. What have you made of what you've seen of him so far? You will have looked back at, at, at some of him, I'm sure. What do you think about Jai? Uh, in the videos, what I, what I saw, I saw... He's very good technique, he's flexible, he's good speed, and he's so cool, and uh, he's in Australia, and he's home down. It's, um, it's what, I, what I saw, but uh, what, what, what we see in the ring is something different than what we saw on the, the TV. And what should we expect from you? A lot has been made of the fact that you're 37 years of age. Any chance do you think that you might just be slowing down at this stage of your career? Um, maybe. <laughs> no, but uh, I hope uh, the most important for me is, you know, Enjoy me in my fight, and uh, I like when the fight is interesting for uh, people who watch this fight and they enjoy this fight. And uh, yeah, really, because we what we do in the ring, this is for, for people who watch and love the boxing, and uh, yeah, we, we do the best in the ring. Jai has predicted that we're going to see a war in this fight on Saturday night. What do you think we've got coming up? War is too loud because um, it's total. Yeah, he didn't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Do you think we'll see more of a boxing match? Do you think Jai's going to try and box it? I understand what they mean about war, but um, I don't know uh, how I feel in the ring. You know, like Mike Tyson said, you know, all the plans change after one punch uh, show they had. We'll, we'll see what kind of fight we, we make uh, after the first round, you know, when you feel each other. Then, then we dancing, punching, and do everything in the ring. All the best. When you've looked to the fight, how do you see it ending, Morris? What's the conclusion of this fight? Before I need to see how they start. <laughs> we'll just finish um, this Jai's birthday today. Would you like to wish him a happy birthday? Do you have any other words for the World Title Challenger? Um, of course, happy birthday and uh, congratulations to your mother and father for like for this guy who now have a fight for IPF Cruiserweight Championship uh, title. Yeah. And, uh, fight, uh, I assume that it's high level, uh, and uh, I hope uh, we show that all the world and all the world speak about this fight and enjoy this fight. Fantastic. We might get the two main event fighters to face off if we could. Uh,